Hi, Matt. Why did OCC choose to partner with Axoni and how will this technology solution bring value to your clearing member firms? Hey, Justin. Thanks. Good question. So we had two goals we were seeking with this project. One was to help with operational efficiency and the second was the ease of integration. So we talked to our members and identified real pain points around the informational challenges and operational efficiencies that stem from booking and maintenance and reconciling of contracts. And so the DLT platform that we're building out will automate that process of booking and maintaining those contracts and provide a synchronization that's not available today to help bring down the errors and help bring down the manual intervention that's required to uh, manage that, manage those processes, as opposed to the current paradigm where everybody's running their own systems, having their own unique processes, and just trying to square up after the fact. So we're introducing a new platform that will be much more efficient, was our first goal. And the second goal that was really important for us was uh, ease of integration. So both within OCC to the other systems that we're running, like our clearing system for products and our clearing system for settling cap marks market, as well as our risk systems for managing the risk of the positions. But not only that, we wanted the ease of integration for network adopters to be low. And so Axoni has a bunch of cool tools to help uh, both OCC as well as other network participants that choose to take a network node to integrate with it. And so Axoni's business strategy and their technology, those tools I just mentioned, they're very much aligned with our goals of operational efficiency and ease of integration. So it made a lot of sense for us to collaborate on this project. Excellent. And Ishan, what was the attraction for Axoni in partnering with the OCC? Hey, Justin. Thanks for having me. Just by way of background, we're a New York City-based fintech company that specializes in multi-party data and workflow solutions. Um, back in about 2017, we were connected to the OCC through a mutual client um, and kicked off the discussion around uh, some of the pain points in the stock loan marketplace. And in particular, how a golden source platform leveraging our technology could begin to address some of those longstanding challenges. Uh, that began our journey into the SAC lending world, and I would say it's led to a very natural and mutually beneficial partnership with the OCC uh, as the only central counterparty in the market. In particular, uh, we're very supportive of the way OCC is approaching uh, this next phase of its evolution. They're not only looking at their own technology stack, but also uh, looking to address some of the industry's challenges uh, and making meaningful investments uh, via the Renaissance Initiative uh, to bring value to their clearing members. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, both firms are hyper aligned in our mission to build a solution that works for the industry. Ishan, how does Stock Loan fit in with Axoni's broader portfolio of ongoing initiatives? Um, stock loans are a very natural extension to our broader portfolio of initiatives, uh, which today include both credit and equity swaps. Um, and if you think about the use cases that uh, we address, they all tend to have a common thread, uh, which typically includes three main themes. One, um, there are typically multiple parties that need to have an accurate view of the same data. Two, uh, that data tends to have a life cycle, uh, and it's important that those firms remain aligned across those events that may occur. And a third sort of common aspect to our use cases is that uh, processes today tend to rely on periodic settlement cycles that ultimately end up getting delayed, uh, create a lot of manual effort to reconcile data between the firms, and ultimately high operational costs for participants. If you think about stock loan, it fits that bill extremely well. Uh, you know, when you consider the daily changes in contract value from mark to market, re rates, um, or you know, even the burdens of corporate action processing. Um, and a second angle to this is uh, our, our footprint in the broader equity finance space. Uh, as you may have seen in the press, uh, earlier in 2020, we went live with our equity swaps platform. Um, and, and swaps are really just a, a synthetic way to achieve 
a short or long position in the same underlying asset. Um, and so we're very excited to add another dimension to that broader SEC finance umbrella. Matt, tell us about how this fits into OCC's Renaissance Initiative. The Renaissance Initiative is perhaps the most ambitious project that OCC has undertaken in the last, certainly the last 20 years, if not our entire history. And it's really about transforming our technology, transforming our processes, and transforming our people. And the, the DLT-based stock loan platform is going to be a critical element in that new technology stack. And I think its innovative nature really exemplifies the ambitious and transformative goals of the broader initiative. You know, I mentioned the benefits that we talked about around um, greater automation and less errors, but you know, the, the system wide will provide much, many more benefits to the participants, such as greater agility. So the new system is gonna be able to much more rapidly introduce new products and services. Uh, it's gonna be able to be run at a lower operating cost. And information is a key aspect that we're focusing on with Renaissance Initiative. So our new data platform will make data much more accessible and it'll have the tools needed to really make sense and understand insights, gain insights from that data. You know, the stock loan team is a small part of a much larger team within Renaissance of subject matter experts, architects, developers, testers, security engineers, network engineers, on and on. Um, you know, we, we're, we're working very collaboratively and doing something really special. And I'm excited to see um, when it launches, uh, how that benefits the industry. Matt, how does this model move OCC closer to a future fit CCP? Uh, securities lending model? So, you know, it's really at its core introducing an innovative new communication protocol where information is more accessible, but it's also going to enable OCC to introduce, as I mentioned, products and services much more quickly. The industry has been requesting a number of enhancements such as support for non-cash loans and a buy side model for quite some time. But our ability to meet those requests under the current system is limited. And so the new system will allow us to be much more adaptable and flexible to be able to introduce enhancements like that, while at the same time helping to lower costs through greater um, operational efficiency. You know, so I'm very proud of what the series learning team is doing on a daily basis to evidence the sort of embracing of the agile practices and continuous improvement. That's really, you know, very much at the core of this initiative. And so, you know, if you think about the future, it's when it launches, we'll not only have cutting edge technology, but the processes and people are, the company's DNA will have been altered. You know, it's sort of like, um, like Spider-Man being bitten by a radioactive spider, right? It, we're going to come out of this much stronger and faster, more agile, and a force for positive change. Fantastic. Ishan, what is the timeline for the implementation here? Um, it's worth noting that our initiative is expected to have multiple phases. In fact, last month we began development, um, which is really what we're calling phase one. Um, this first phase seeks to just replace OCC's existing system with Exani software um, and will include a few enhancements for how trades are affirmed in the platform. We're targeting to be build complete by mid-2021, uh, which will then be followed by several months of testing, um, including UAT, uh, where we're also envisioning having select firms connect using Axcore nodes on a, on a test basis. As Matt mentioned, uh, the stock loan initiative fits very nicely into OCC's renaissance timelines. And we're currently looking at a 2022 go live for um, all renaissance components, which includes the, the stock loan platform. 
it's worth pointing out here that uh, we're also thinking about a, a gradual approach to node adoption. Um, and we're going to ensure that OCC's querying members have the optionality to continue to interact via the existing messaging pipes. Um, and during this process, um, both us and OCC are looking forward to engaging with uh, market participants, uh, where we'll be discussing a number of aspects of this initiative, ranging from new features uh, to the timelines for actually uh, using our software to connect into the OCC Stockholm network. Excellent. One final question for, for Matt. How do you see DLT transforming the securities lending landscape? Yeah, thanks, Justin. It's going to be really exciting. Um, our hope is that by eliminating some of the informational friction that exists, it'll be a big enabler for innovation. So by helping to make the industry more efficient and profitable through reducing the costs and the time associated with basic contract, uh, contract maintenance, that'll allow investment in new and more innovative ways. And so just like the transformation to internet-based banking enabled a whole new wave of positive change and innovation for retail customers, we're looking forward to what sort of innovation and creative solutions uh, entrepreneurs and third-party vendors are able to introduce using some of the foundational improvements that we're introducing. Matt, Ishan, thank you very much for your time. 